Hello, it's Sarah. I'm starting a new project. I'm going to do this little frog on a terracotta pot. Gathering supplies, and I realize I have no idea where I put, or if I just ran out, and I don't think I did run out. This was like um, beads, like a beaded chain, like a beaded, a strand of beads type thing, like this. You know, like beads on a piece of string. I don't know where it is and it was red and I don't know where it is I've checked everywhere so then I started looking at what else I had and I have this red ball chain but I think it's a little too small I mean compared to this which is a number six I would say that's probably like a number four and I think it could work but then I also have this bling chain which I'm very tempted to use um, I think I may but I just figured I'd grab some alcohol ink and see if I could get this I've already run I've used a sharpie real quick to see what would happen but I found this is this one does oh excuse me have a name but this says watermelon so I'm just gonna see if I can turn this chain red with these alcohol inks I haven't played with this stuff in forever and at one point I had thought that I was gonna you know do some painting with alcohol inks and I never did get around to it so I'm really letting it I'm trying to douse it pretty well and this is the watermelon which actually is a beautiful color I just I think this is a little more cherry looking so I'm just gonna see what this looks like yeah, it's a little darker. So I'm just going to hit it with that too. I don't think this will come off um, like, I think it's permanent. I mean, just like a permanent marker, it should really just stain. This is stainless steel, I think, so that's a good point. Um, most of the metals that I have played with, um, maybe I should leave it sitting in that. Anywho, that, I just thought I'd share that. I'm going to set it aside and let it soak a little longer. And then I will see... Um, what happens because the first step anyway is for me to adhere the um, I'm going to adhere the ball chain this is going to be a bit wonky but what I want to do and actually I think what I want to do is place my eyes my cheeks and my feet to kind of at least get them on there and then play around with this is going to be so fudgy because it's an again it's on a curved surface so let me get my silicone I think I'm going to fill this real quick because I am going to use a waterproof adhesive so that if she chooses to it's a gift put dirt in the pot which I would just use it as a cover pot it won't seep th the water will seep through the terracotta and it could disturb the the adhesion after you know over time so I'm gonna get more silicone I'll be right back all right I think I got about 10 of these syringes it's disposable it's the 20 milliliter and I'm just gonna fill a different one up because I'll finish what's in there and then I'll see if I'm gonna keep it or not I don't know but let me see if I can get this to come out and I have to say Jamie Lee was very sweet to suggest this to me um, I had not seen this tip before to fill a syringe so as I don't know if you can see but I am squeezing this silicone which this was very hard to work with this thing it's like a big industrial freaking <laughs> sorry I don't want to cuss but how my hand hurts from pulling it and every time I needed more um, silicone I would just squirt it out onto a um, paper plate and then like apply it either with a toothpick or like a wooden stick 
and it just it would and then it would dry out so fast on the paper plate so this is this was like because I did a piece doing it this way much more efficient a lot less messy and I didn't use up or waste as much so that's that's plenty I think I am going to try did I save my I'm just gonna oop, it's seeping out a little bit I'm gonna just put a piece of tape over it because I don't have a lid I think you can buy a little lid for your silicone tube as well which I need to do so oops see look so now I've pushed it down into the tip I don't know if you can see that but and there's a lid so now this will stay because this one I've had here for two for the, I think oh, three days the whole weekend and it's still fine so I'm gonna use that but let me just um, I have this blue tape I'm just gonna wrap this around the tip of the silicone to kind of um, so that I can put it away and it'll be um, it won't dry up and it's okay if like a little tip of it comes out and then it dries up but I will also this is painters tape so it's not permanent or anything there we go now I'm just going to set this down behind me Oops. and hopefully be able to I'm going to use the one that was already I'm just going to put um, put my cheeks on these are pieces that I ordered on the internet from I believe Wits End Mosaic um, I have a lot of pre-cut shapes and different finishes so this is like a really sweet um, shiny uh, finish to this piece and I'm trying to I'm gonna use my notebook because see I put too much down and this when it dries will cause a problem if it's um, next to when I want to put a piece of tesserae up against it I don't I think that's going to be fine because I'm on a slant I probably should prop this up a little bit I think I have this is like an old t-shirt that I use for grouting I could probably use that I was also thinking of putting in a line along the bottom but because it again it's a round surface I would have to cut this into little pieces and I still think I might because I have lots of these but before I get to that let's just cut I'm gonna cut a piece in half for his little um, eyelids and his feet and I was thinking this is the color of his his head's gonna be this color this glass but I think his eyelids could be brighter so I think because they would be like kind of popping out I'm gonna the other one I did kind of all matched or I could do them darker because that way they'll play with the feet so in order to give you that perspective see how on this one it all matches I think I just want to I'm gonna change it of course I told you so this is gonna be dark back here and I gave them dark feet too um, I don't know I I like it but I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I change it so I think I'm gonna go with I mean I could even do like it's a it's a boy but I could do blue blue eyelids or any color different color I think I'm just gonna go with this lighter color and I'm just gonna attempt to half it with my um, I'll do a couple because I'm gonna use these as the feet I think too I have lots of different shades of green luckily um, and I want them to be about the same size especially for the eyes so um, then I'm gonna cut these little 
rounds for his eyeball. I'm just going to cut like a fourth of it off so that it has that flat edge and it can sit up against the eyelid. The other thing is I used a much wider, I used a bigger size half for the other one too. So I'm changing a couple things and I just want to see what, you know, what happens. So I think I'm going to keep it small like that. Then I have this little white, I want to, I think I'm going to go with this bigger one that I already used. I used this on my fish. And I think I'm going to th put this around the, bl the black, but it might not, um, the lid, I need the lid to be, all right, let me come down. I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm going to use this as my eyelid, I'd want it to reach to the other side of the white. I think, I, I think I'm going to be able to tuck it in there. And that's what his eye is going to look like. Um, so I have that ready. I think these two are going to be his eyelids. They're approximately the same size. I can use these two for his front feet. And then I think I'm going to change the color for his back feet. And I'm not going to make them as, I use big ones for his back feet, which I do like. Hmm. I could use, I think I'll use this for his back feet. I don't want to go dark, dark, like as dark as this green. Because they're pushed forward a little. I think I'm going to, because and then the other color was so dark, so I think I'm going to go with this one. And I'm still not positive, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's see how these are holding on. They're staying put. I'm going to have to pull my little red. See, look, it didn't stick all over. Dang it. If this is going to be the mouth... I mean, it doesn't have to be red either, oops, because it could be just ball chain or it could be green or black or not black probably. But see, if it's red, it's just, it looks so popping. All right, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to see about that red bling chain. So I'll, look, at, look at all the um, alcohol ink all over me. The thing about this is, it can accordion. So like I can butt it right up against each other or I can separate it. And then grout will go in between each one. But I could, I'm could. i just going to see how it shapes out. So let's just see. This is really hard to do on camera because it's, cause it's just not a flat surface because if it was flat, I could just keep my surface there. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna have to go with this. It's just gonna look so pretty. Don't know where I got this. I wanna, I would say at a craft store for sure. Just cause my fingers are sticky, it, it's sticking to my fingers, but I think, I think I want it to go all butt up against each other. That just looks so pretty. All right, so I'm going to put some adhesive down with my little thing and hope for the best. Now, there is a little learning curve because, like I said, this is not the thinnest nozzle. But if I move it, I can kind of control how thick it gets. And hope for the best. And then I'm going to get my um, denatured alcohol out because I think that's what I'm going to need to. Uh, and I'm going to need a little tool for sticking. I'm going to get my little dentist like hook thing. Or I have this. I kind of like this. It's like a spatula. And I'm going to put this down.
and inch by inch kind of push it in. Once I get it on there, I'll be able to play with the um, shape. And I'm going to have to cut it. So let me start to push it up against itself. And then I'll know where to cut it. I think I'm going to cut it right here. I can always add just a, a single random bead in there too. I went, I think I went one too many. So I'm going to have to cut it. It's like surgery. God bless our surgeons. Because this is fudgy. Fudgy wudgy. But I have a shape that I like. And it's kind of up in the middle and then down and then up. Like that. So very roller coastery. I think I got it. But there is a lot of silicone on the piece. And that's what I was talking about. Like if that dries, I'm gonna give it give it a minute, and then I think once it starts to set up, I'll be able to cut it away with my exacto blade. But that looks very cute and it's popping. All right, so let me grab my silicone again and I'm gonna shoot for, this is gonna be so fudgy, you guys. I'm gonna put silicone on like this, like not in um, too thick, like I'm kind of spreading it. It's pretty thick though, anyway. All right, I'm gonna use the bright green. You know what? I might need my tweezers. This might be a way to go. At least to get it in the space. The bright green. Then I need those little black ones. going to be very close with the white. I know that white is a little bit thicker probably, but I think it's going to look cute. I don't see a lot of silicone where I'm going to need to put the white, so that's, oh yeah there is, there's definitely white there. All right, so let's see if I can do this. I'm going to have to push it up a little bit. I've got this, um, on a string and I'm just going to start it and put it there wrap it around and pull the string out make sure I don't lose that but I need to use my little tool see how it is a little wider than his eyeball or his, his eyelid um, I think I'm going to stick with it, but I know that if I use um, a bigger one, like say this, I think I should use a bigger one. I'm going to use the bigger one. Oh well. I just think it's going to be the, in the long run, It's I'm going to be happier with it. I'm going to use this, make sure, I'm going to cut one of these, it's like a yellow green, oh I like that. I got to find my cutter. It's kind of really yellow, but that's okay, I think I'm, I'm wanting to change it up a little bit. That's actually yellow. I just like to add different colors so 
and I'm dropping this into a little jar of mineral, it's not mineral spirits, denatured alcohol because that is supposed to be um, something you can wipe off your tools with. I still need to put the white. That might have been a mistake to do. I'm putting a little bit more silicone there, which is actually a lot. I'm going to try and spread it with this stick a little bit. All right. And go ahead and grab the white again, and I'm going to start on this side this time. And if I pull it out or if I pull too much off I can add another bead. guy wants to go over there. There might be one too many. Kind of have to push them down. I might want to take that one right there because it's a real little one. I think I want to take it out. I don't probably need to, but I think it might make these fit better. pull off the silicone but I want to make sure I got my face straight all right I think that's good now I am thinking I like them but I don't know about the yellow but we'll see we'll get there I could just throw green on there but I think it looks good um, 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 um I'm going to do the feet and then I'm going to put the rope chain or the ball chain on. So let's put these four feet. Which ones did I decide to do? This, 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 and this? Or did I want to do these? I think it was going to be those in the back. I have that other rock on my desk which just takes up room. I really don't need it on here. I'm just using it as a guide for um, so that my eye and because this is on a curve the smaller ones uh, this is it's good it's touching it's not rocking too much I think I'll be able to work with that. In other words, the whole surface, the back of the tile, is touching the um, the pot. I'm just going to push it down, make sure it's even. He would have bigger feet in the back anyway, right? It is a little bit rocky. I could cut it. I think I'm going to cut this one. Stop rolling! No! Um, because I'll tell you why. Um, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. Because I think it'll look more... I don't know. I just feel like it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut a piece off. And I think it'll make it... Uh, see, I don't know about that. 
just when I make the um, the, the leg it'll come in maybe I'll cut it at a different angle this is all on the fly you know I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking hmm I think I want it to go like this so I'm gonna do it like that I think I'm gonna adjust this one still I don't want to I really want to try not to be too messy now I have to fill in the whole rest of the face with that green I'm going to make little tiny triangles and just try to fill that in. And I think once I put the uh, ball chain on, you'll get the whole picture of what I'm shooting for, you know? You might even be able to see it already because it's... I could cut that a little this side. I think I will. But with a ball chain, I'll frame it out like it's an, you know, like it's a picture, like it's a frame, you know. And I'll be filling in the tiles where the ball chain is. I need more. I think I need more silicone. I want to make sure it adheres. So just for now, I think. Um, well, see, there's so much silicone where the smile went. If I were working wet on wet, I would really try to put a piece of green right up against that and utilize that. But for because I'm kind of not ready, I'm just going to take it off. And see, I was right. Like, And I do have a fan on as well. But when you let it set a little while, it's easier to kind of get it off without being as messy. It's more of like a chunk of silicone than a like liquid of silicone. I'm just going to make sure my little smile is still the shape I want it. I like it. And then here's the feet. I'll come back out. All right. I'm going to attempt to put this ball chain all the way around the outside. I'm going to start in certain places and kind of do it in bits and pieces. Like I could definitely do that. I'm going to cut it first and then I'm going to lay in the ball chain. It's so sticky to my finger. Like, this is so hard because it won't just lay there. I have to hold it. I'm going to cut it right here. Now it won't be pulling as much, and I'm going to try and put the silicone from his face there's still some around the um, the cheek yeah it's not it's not working I think I'm out of silicone I'm going to have to use my toothpick. Spread it a little. There's got to be a better way. And I'm going to, I'm, after this, I'm about to order a 10 millimeter syringe. Or maybe even smaller. Because you don't need a lot. Like, I don't need the, the, amount that I'm getting out of the syringe it's a very sticky adhesive and 
I think that the the tip of the 10 millimeter may work better for me. I think I'm going to cut this here. Oh dear. I think my my cutter's getting a little dull. I need one more to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so disappointing when it doesn't cut. I need to get a new cutter. Just because I've pulled it off now two or three times. So you know I have a ton of silicone on the be on the beads. But you, you get the point. Uh, there will be grout there, which is going to be interesting because, anywho, let's do it again. This is almost gone. See how I just tried to do it faster to keep it, and I'll be able to move that with my Q-tip. I really wanted to do it faster so it came out um, thinner, but we'll see. Might have to cut it because it's not. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the chain is stiff in areas and it's it doesn't want to turn at that angle. There we go. So you can see it starts to form. Now, on my other one, I did come down here this whole leg, and I think I'm going to do that again. It kind of separates out the back legs from the front legs. So I'm going to run a bead from. his face down to that foot you can see how gloppy it is maybe you can't from that distance but it is so thick that might be because that's the old stuff that was in the syringe for so long maybe I don't know. I'm going to Oh you bugger. I do not know why this is not cutting. I guess it's just not sharp anymore. I gotta cut one more, dang it. And that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go because it's easier for me to do this when I can just totally focus on what I'm doing. And I think you get the point, you know? You, you see me do enough of it that you can kinda uh, understand the process, right? and maybe I'll come back for another lesson when I'm starting to put the tiles down 
but he's going to be so cute. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.